What's up, Internet? My name is Bobby. I am one third of the casual hour, and I am here to tell you about Zet Zillions from Oda Iman Studios, I believe. Oda Iman? Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, this is being put out by Raw Fury, and what we're looking at today is a playtest. So this is not the full release, but if you are into deck builders, or if you're into roguelikes, if you like hyper stylized video games, hang out with me for like five to 10 minutes while I show you something cool, okay? And if you like what I show you, consider liking and subscribing to our channel where we do our podcast, game streams, all kinds of fun shit. You found a really good part of the internet with me today. I'm happy you're here. Let's get right into it. So as you get into this game, you're gonna notice right away, it looks beautiful. And I'm here to tell you, it plays really cool as well. I'm gonna abandon this journey because I want you all to see a new game. We're gonna go into act one. And from here, we'll be playing as a Fragajam, which is awesome. And Fragajam has a population uh, mechanic and we'll talk a little bit about that, but we'll see what we get here along with baby violence. So baby violence is one of the things that we have on our character. You get a minion to go with you on your runs. We have Junker. Uh, a familiar mecha that specializes in defense. And we're gonna be dealing with trash. We're gonna be dealing with volunteers and of course, junk. And we'll talk more about that. So as you can see, Junker's giving us these defensive abilities. And uh, I'll do my best to kind of give you a reason to play a video game. That's my goal here. So this is available on Steam right now. It is supposed to come out fully in 2024. We don't have any specific dates on that, but if you have a PC, you can get onto the play test on Steam and check this game out while we wait for a really cool full release. Uh, there are missions that you can get on here. So right now uh, we can earn pineapples by scavenging. Uh, we can do expedition force uh, by distributing population. Uh, I think we can get pineapples pretty, pretty easily. So let's just stick with that one for the time being and You've probably seen one of these types of maps before. You've got your unknown locations. You've got your escape pods. You've got your planets. You've got a birdie event. And here's pineapples, of course, and a place to heal up. Uh, I'm gonna try and go up and maybe over to a planet and see how that goes for us here. You're also being chased down by a, a, a looming threat. All right, so you've probably seen if you've played a deck builder before, something similar to this, you have your draw pile, your discard pile, you can end your turn. You also have three points of action per, per turn. Your cards are gonna give you that readout in the upper left-hand corner. And then we are gonna be working on taking down a shield or populating an enemy or just straight up attacking them. So we have a lump asteroid that we're fighting against. And right now, uh, I'm on the fence for taking 12 damage, something I would rather avoid if at all possible. So with that being said, we need to uh, shield up or at least work on taking down an attack, which I can get rid of this attack here by adding volunteers. And I can't put volunteers directly into this bucket because they have a shield up, but I should, if, I, if, if memory serves me, I'm gonna be taking them down a little bit. So let's add that in there. And it did exactly what I thought it would. It got rid of their shield and took them down. So now I'm on the fence for five. I'm gonna go ahead and use one shield on myself. So now I, I feel good. We can go in it. We've got our shield over 77 HP. We are going to negate any incoming, incoming attack, but I wanna do some damage. I really just need to do five but you're probably wondering how I'm going to do that. Well, one of the coolest things about this game, at least I think, is they have this ability to merge cards. And as you see, when I come over here, I'm gonna turn into a meatball that deals seven. So by doing that, it costs no action. I can now kill this lump. Awesome. And uh, I will just throw on another shield and go from there. So they're gonna hit me for five. We still keep our shield. And now they're going to hit for 13 unless I can take that down. So I've got a few ways to go about it. We have this free volunteer again. That's gonna get him down quite a bit. That's a lot easier to deal with. I could throw five on and take it down further, but I'm still not taking damage. So I'm going to at least make another meatball. 
take him down a peg. And I think the best option is just to add some population in. And I'll fully do that here. So now they've, if this is a planet, let's talk about that mechanic. Populations here, if it was a planet, that would have ended. We would have completely colonized the planet. I would have gotten extra rewards, but you cannot colonize a living thing. So uh, we're going to just let that sit. We're not going to take any damage. Now they've got full population, which is great. And I can show you Frag Jam, which is going to deal two damage per person or population. So I should be hitting them for 12. We'll just do Frag Jam, our special attack. That kills everybody and we win. And we got 25 of the 150 pineapples we need. What else do we get? We get to pick a card. That looks pretty good. Deal 15 damage if the target is populated. I like that one because we have our free card that can help us populate. But let's see what else we have here. So for a junk pile, we gain eight and we draw a card from your, your discard pile. And then over here, we can deal four damage twice and apply sap, which deals less damage that turn. You know, that's actually a really good one. These are both very good cards. Uh, Gigamole will just do eight damage and apply, you know, but that's also going to be dealing 15 if it's populated, which is a step there. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one and see where that goes. Ah, you know what? We're going to a planet. Fuck it. We're going to stick with this. I'm not going to second guess myself. Uh, we're going to go here and you can see the danger that Th Thanatos is it's here chasing us. So as I move over or I could go to this random event, let's do that. I'll show you an unknown location and then we'll go down here. Okay. Awesome. So we're getting hit for 13. I can kill a few of these guys. Do I have anything? Oh, I can't. I don't have anybody that can, but I can populate something. Who's got the most? All right, they're gonna go first. This enemy will deal damage and apply a negative effect. I don't want that. Um, so I'm gonna work on this. We're just gonna volunteer. And we will, oh, I could frag jam them and take them out and keep this one for another one. Let's do that. Great. All right, so now we're getting hit for 10. I just need to shield up because I'm not gonna kill them. We're protected there for this turn. Cool. All righty. Let's make a meatball. Actually, let's make two meatballs. And let's kill these guys. There we go. Some more pineapples and uh, this one's interesting here. So it prevents damage on fusion though. We increase that. So if we fuse that, um, we can, it looks like we can fuse it three times and we get shield for four of those. Not bad. Maybe not what I want though. Uh, Junkarami, a uh, Junkamari, sorry. Gain four on fusion. That's the same thing. No, this one can stack. Uh, let's go with the alloy because we'll get four to 10 shield. That's, that's a pretty good one to have. All right. Um, I can do this event and I can go here now. So I said I wanted to get to this event. Let's do that. Who the hell is eating off my concern? This is Doc, by the way. He's very good. And that's Ziggy, also very good. Okay, that's not good. Why would you do that? All right. I, I just love the style between everybody here. Bird, yes, little birdie, so cute. What is going on here? That's no freaking bird. Oh. It's a void vulture. I've kept this egg in storage for 26 years. Okay. All right, so this is a really cool event. Is this going to open up a portal or something? Or we got to fight? Take it to the battlefield and let it feed on our enemies. Oh, okay. Deal six, what's the deal here? Piercing damage, ooh, it goes to the armor. On kill, gets an XP, gains one XP. All right, so we wanna get birdie going up, that's great. So let me show you this planet mechanic that I was talking about. So now we're actually fighting a fucking planet, which is really cool. Uh, and who we got up here? 
clueless type planet. So we don't know what they're going to do. Well, we're not quite sure. What's this going to be? The the damage. So we need to hit them. Do we have our population? Great. That should get me some population on them. And that will deal six damage. If I throw this up, that should take them up to seven. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. That's actually not what I wanted. Hmm. We're going to throw that shield on. And that's going to give us at least six. So I think we're going to take a hit here. Um, but I'll just work on the planet. And uh, we'll go to the next turn. Okay. So I know that I can kill this guy with frag jam or I can make some meatballs and take out at least one of them. And uh, we'll, we'll do that really quick. So birdie won't kill him, but maybe birdie can kill over there. So let me just work on the meatball here. Ooh, birdie can kill them. Great. And Birdie got an XP on that. Awesome. So we're taking a hit for seven. Let me do this. And I'll add five to the planet. Because again, I want to populate this planet completely. All right, we blocked that. It's going to hatch a parasite. So we're going to get another one of those out there. Um, deal 15 if there's anything on it. Let me make a meatball to work on this thing. All right, we're down to seven again there. I can at least take it out. And uh, we'll add shield. <clears throat> and then we'll see if we can populate up on this next turn. Great. It's going to deal six. I'm going to keep populating there. Hmm. I think we'll just build our shield up. Have that for a second. Great. So we got another parasite out there. Want to add five. I'm not going to get it all the way there. So let me make a meatball. See if I can get a little bit more for birdie. That's going to be six. Uh, do 15. That yeah, won't do it. Um, we'll do this. Okay, something's hurting it. It's not good. There we go. There we go. So I got the planet. It surrendered, gave us those hundred pineapples and uh, a tortoise ship. What the fuck? Just an unplayable card. Interesting. I wonder if that's like, ooh, these are really good. Um, Blast Squad's great. Deal four to all enemies twice. That's very, very handy. But this one gets to be really broken. So you get strength and it creates a copy of the card. It's it's very good. So I would, I would pick this, even though we're going to wrap it up here. So I, I haven't shown you everything this game has to offer. And I don't know everything that this game has to offer because it's very early still. It's a play test. But early impressions, very fucking cool. Um, we've gone over a few planets. You've gotten to see how you can use the mechanic of population, how you can do the merging, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I Let me see if I can back out from here. Uh, let me abandon this journey. So we did this for about 12 minutes. I went a little bit overhead on our overtime, I should say. We did get some good uh, cards to show off there, and we got to do this play test. Uh, you should wishlist this. There's all kinds of cool shit with it. Really cool fusions that you can unlock, uh, traits that you can get, different minions that you can unlock, different enemy types. I've seen 12 of the 58, apparently. Um, as far as the deck builder goes, this one's showing a lot of promise. Really cool style. Very neat cards. I think it's going to have a ton of legs beneath it. Uh, they have an active Discord. They're on Instagram and they're on Twitter. I refuse to call it X. 
And uh, I think you should check it out. And they're taking feedback right now, as you can see here. Support these developers, wishlist their game, help bring some visibility to it. Everybody could use a little help right now. And uh, speaking of visibility and getting some help, the casual hour is live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch and YouTube and sometimes Kick at 9 p.m. Central, where we play video games on Monday and Friday, and we live record our podcast on Wednesday. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we put our quick looks up right here on YouTube. And Friday mornings, we post our podcast to every platform imaginable for podcasts. We would love your support. We'd love for you to hang out with us and chat. We might even open up our Discord sometime. <clears throat> Make yourself at home here. Like, subscribe, tell somebody about us, and let us know if there's a game like this that you are digging, or if there's another game that we should quick look, tell me about it, and we'll go check it out. My name's Bobby. Johnny and Chase will be here with me at some point in time. You all have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.